Ragdolls are large, adorable, fluffy cats that are easy to fall in love with. You may be about to buy one, but before you do, we strongly advise you to watch this video till the end to see if there are any reasons why you should change your mind. We give one very important and compelling reason to perhaps not buy a ragdoll cat, along with several other things to consider carefully before you do. So let's get started. Number 1. They shed a lot of fur. If you are allergic to cat fur, then you may suffer as ragdolls have a lot of fur to shed. Be aware, they are not hypoallergenic. So unless you want to live with the symptoms of your allergy permanently, spend some time close to a ragdoll first to see how you react. There's nothing more heartbreaking than finding you can't keep a kitten or cat because it makes you feel ill every day. Keep shedding under control with regular brushing. Number two, you'll waste so much time cuddling one. They turn into big floppy, soppy cats whenever you pick them up. When you sit down, you'll invariably end up with a ragdoll on your lap. They love to snuggle up to their owners. What this means is that you'll never be able to get on with anything as you won't want to disturb your cat. You will lose hours of your life in this way and never get anything done. Do you have time to spare like this? Number three, they are not an ideal outdoor cat. If you like a cat that can go in and out whenever it pleases, be aware that ragdolls are not really suited to the outside world. They are very trusting cats and, with their good looks, are easy targets for thieves. They don't seem to have much savvy when it comes to other outside dangers, are not aggressive enough to defend themselves, and so are better suited to indoor life or to outside life only in a very secure area. Think about whether you can keep a ragdoll safe in this way before you commit to becoming an owner. Number four, they don't all have blue eyes. If you believe your ragdoll will definitely have blue eyes, you could be disappointed. All kittens have blue eyes and most of the time a ragdoll's eyes remain blue as they mature. But their eyes can change to other colors such as blue, green or gold. Eye color is related to coat color. So if for any reason you want a blue-eyed ragdoll only, you should adopt an adult cat whose eyes are blue. Number five, one might make your dog feel redundant. A ragdoll sometimes behaves more like a dog than a cat. It can display a dog-like loyalty to its owner and may even play games of fetch. It will possibly make a dog feel a little jealous and unwanted as it steals your attention away. Number six, they don't like to be on their own. A ragdoll is a very sociable cat. This breed does not cope very well when left alone for long spells. If you have to go out all day every day, it's not too fair to have a ragdoll you should get two instead. They will be the perfect company for each other and will entertain each other too. If you can't afford two cats and have to work, then find a breed that fares better when at home alone. Number seven, they need regular grooming. Though their fur is medium length and looks quite manageable, you should really groom a ragdoll twice a week at least. This reduces the amount of fur shed around your house and prevents mats from building up. You will have to pay particular attention to their bellies in areas where their legs join their undercarriage. This can be quite time-consuming. Also, because of the length of the fur on their bottom area, they may get clean-ons from time to time after using the litter box. You will have to keep an eye on this and clean up as necessary. Not very pleasant, but necessary for obvious reasons. Number 8. Ragdoll Kittens are very expensive. A purebred ragdoll can cost you between 1,000 and 3,500 US dollars, depending on your location, the cat's age, and your breeder's price tag. This does not even include the other hidden costs of owning a ragdoll. The second most important thing to consider is, while you may be able to afford to buy two ragdolls, can you afford the ongoing costs to keep two ragdolls? It's not cheap owning a cat. You'll have weekly costs for food, dental biscuits, and cat litter while other items like accessories will also be ongoing. You also need to keep your ragdoll healthy by taking them to regular vet checkups. All of these costs double with a pair of ragdolls, so you seriously need to consider whether you have the money to afford two cats. The ragdoll I grew up with lived for 19.5 years, so going into adopting the two I have now, I knew it was at least a 15 to 20 year commitment. While it's impossible to predict the future, having a good idea that you can afford vet bills, litter, food, toys, and more every year is crucial. Number 9. Attention Demanded Ragdoll cats are known for their demand for attention. They love being around people and will often follow their owners around, looking for snuggles and affection. 
They are also intelligent and active cats, so it's important for them to get plenty of mental stimulation. Ragdoll cats require lots of playtime and interaction to stay happy and healthy. Number 10. It's harder to go on holidays. It's hard enough organizing a family member or breeder to look after one ragdoll cat whenever you want to get out of town for a few days. Imagine, then, how difficult it would be to try and find someone to look after a pair of them. Everyone loves going on holidays from time to time, but when doing this, you can't simply leave your pair of ragdolls at home. If you're someone who doesn't have close friends or family you can lean on to help out when you're away, or don't have a cat carer you can pay to look after them for you, then owning a pair of ragdolls, rather than just one, becomes a lot trickier. Number 11. They take up more of your time. All of the above things. Feeding your ragdoll. Taking your ragdoll to the vet. Playing with your ragdoll. Take up time. With two ragdolls, it will take up even more of your time. If you're someone who lives alone, shares a house with just you and your partner, and works a standard 9 to 5 job, then your lifestyle may suit owning two ragdoll cats. If you're someone who has kids and works irregular or long hours, then you may not have the spare time needed to properly care for a pair of ragdolls. Number 12. The outdoors can pose a challenge. Domesticated animals, even cats, are often faced with the problem of feeling a little helpless when left to their own devices out of doors. It results from the pampering and protection they receive at home, a condition that they suddenly find themselves deprived of when they step out. Most cats, however, adapt quickly. If the breed of cat in question happens to be aggressive, it is a plus, as it entails a lower chance of attack, but not the ragdoll. Docile and even-tempered, ragdolls are rarely ever territorial. They have an unsuspecting nature, which makes them easy prey for trouble. Number 13. Ragdolls are too beautiful as kittens. Surely you agree? One look at that little fluffy face with bright blue eyes, and you will be totally smitten. Before you know it, you will be on your way home with a bundle of fluff to which you will become a slave. Your life will never be the same again, not for the foreseeable future anyway. Are you ready for this? Number 14. Health Problems Ragdolls do have some health issues to be aware of. Typically, kidney issues are a thing with cats, and ragdolls are no exception. It's a good idea as your cat ages to have regular vet checkups. You will also want to watch the weight of your cat with a keen eye. These cats are larger and heavier cats and can sometimes get a little too heavy. This can cause some issues with their joints. Even though our cat who is 15 now is a healthy weight, she still has some clicking in her paw joints. We have started getting her glucosamine and it is helping.